All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship. So I feel firstly really happy that I'm going to be up to date with my videos after I've done this one. Um, yeah, last two days have been really good. Um, with Lawrence, the conversation I still feel is a lot about scratching. But yesterday we didn't do scratching, which was nice. <laughs> yesterday it was raining. Um, and I, in a moment of brilliance, decided that I was going to use the rain to work on being in the stable because I've got the added benefit of it being raining outside and not raining in the stable. And I know that he really hates the rain. So that's kind of like weighing the odds in my favor for it. Um, and it also gives us something nice to do together where I also get to not be in the rain all the time. And yeah, I think it was the first time I've probably ever looked at the stabling issue and actually felt like I knew what I was doing. And I don't know, like I really am just like shook by how much of my time I've spent with horses kind of blindly experimenting and not actually knowing or understanding what it is that I was supposed to do. I think, I think again, this idea of like things being horse centered, like people would say like, oh, you've got to get their mind or, um, you know, you've got to get them thinking about it or you've got to, and I'm like, how do you get them to think about it? Like, how do you, what do you mean? Like, and actually now it's like knowing that these moments of curiosity linking the task or the event or the place to a better feeling feels a lot more horse centric than before where it felt like, I don't know. I think the language just maybe I wasn't in the right frame of mind to hear it in that way. Um, I think I was always hearing things probably throughout my whole life through this filter of dominance, not only dominance with horses, but I think also dominance with people where it's like the end goal is to have somebody somehow submit to your demands or desires. Whereas now I'm in a space where I want Lawrence to feel better about being in the stable, not because it's convenient for me, but because I want him to feel better about it. And I think that was that's the key that I'm really missing is understanding how to help him feel better about it, rather than it being like, I think that's why, why it never really, I never really got it before. Because for me, it's like, if I'm not doing it for the horse, then I'm just doing it for me. And then, it's, and then I can't get out of the mindset of just make them do it, which I think is how I always saw training before is if you just make them do it enough times they'll get used to it and then they'll be okay like doing of the thing comes first and then feeling good comes afterwards and I think to an extent that is true with some training methods I think that um, a lot of really good trainers actually have really good feel and timing and so the horse feels better anyway um, and perhaps that's just not been explained in a way that was the best for me before um I've obviously seen other people understand it. So, but you know, we're all different, right? So anyway, the pattern that I set up yesterday was I came up with Lawrence and his halter and I just was like, we're going to open the stable. We're going to walk and 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 walk. And we're going to go in the stable. We're going to walk around in the stable if he wants to be curious. Instead of the wall scraping, that's fine. But we need to get moving again before he gets stressed and then when he has a moment of curiosity or a moment of good feeling we'll stop and we'll absorb that moment and then we'll get moving again before it's too much and yeah went really well actually yeah it went really well um I was late a couple of times but both times were times when I was thinking I think I'm about to be late and kind of like deliberately being late to see how far we could push it um, and I definitely feel like he felt better and I felt amazingly like it was a really positive session and I feel really like I'm excited for the next time it's going to rain now because I'm like oh this is so great and actually I think it's interesting because I think that 
before I've always felt like, because who wants to ride in the rain? Like, let's be real. Who wants to ride in the rain? None of us. And definitely not my horses. Mia hates being in the arena in the rain. She's like turning her head against the rain. She's like super sensitive to all the sensations on her skin. And then me asking her a question as well. It's like really offensive. And she'll stick with me through it for a little bit. But it it's not a really quality session. There's a lot of money being taken out of the bank account to ask those questions. Um, and then with Lawrence, he just hates the rain all over, full stop, no questions asked. So I think it's really interesting because I think that I'm really keen for the rain to happen again because actually I now have a bunch of things that I'm like, we should really train that. That would be a good thing to train, i.e. let's practice bandaging. Let's practice hoof picking. Let's practice dentistry. Let's practice needles. Let's practice everything, everything, everything. You know, like, and the stabling, of course, as well. Like, you know, let's let's do yard days on those days where we go up and we practice those skills and we get really good at those things you know let's let's practice you know I don't know everything anything um yeah let's practice putting our feet in buckets of water you know so we can soak for poultices and stuff like that and taking them out when they feel better because we never do that you know you never would put your horse's foot in a bucket unless you actually needed their foot to be in the bucket and then you're going to take it out kind of like when you need to. Um, and I really feel excited to practice those things um, and work that into our training as well. So that was really nice. And then I brought Mia in and did her plats in the stable. Um, and again, just tried to have good timing with when I started and when I stopped. And um, she's definitely getting better with the spray bottle. She's really nervous i think it's the noise and probably the smell as well of the uh, detangling spray um and i would say there's like a 10 to 20 percent improvement on where she was when i first started doing this um which is great because for a long time i wasn't using the spray so from my when i consider like how she was you know two or three years ago to how she is now it, it is a lot better um, there's a long way to go, but I think I also had really poor timing for most of those years. So I'm excited to see where that goes now as well. So it was a really nice day yesterday and it was nice to have a rainy day and feel like what I had worked on was important and productive as well. Um, that was really nice. So yeah. Um, what else have we done? Yes, today. Today was a really nice day. Lawrence was a really interesting session. Um... I'm changing my my tack slightly with the scratching because I'm getting really frustrated with it. Um, I'm really, I'm angry with myself that I've put in such opposite patterns to what I want now for the future for so long, like reinforced so much this idea that he can step into me to tell me where he wants me to be scratched and all this stuff and... I just don't want that now. Like, it's just not like it's turned into a really pushy horse. Um, and I'm glad I've learned that lesson with Lawrence because I feel like he is probably the best horse in the world to accidentally teach to be pushy. Um, but equally, you know, he, he's a slow learner and a deep learner. So it's just taking a long time for him to undo that, particularly when what I'm expecting of him now is totally the opposite. I think that's confusing. And I feel bad for him and I feel frustrated with myself and there's guilt there and blame for myself and then I feel frustrated because I feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place because the guilt makes me want to just give him all the scratches even when he's thinking about it because I want to like take away that discomfort for him and then the other side of me knows that I absolutely cannot do that because that's only going to make the problem worse because the whole point is that I'm trying to get him out of this obsession about how itchy his skin is and how he needs me to help him um and so I feel like often when I'm there with him, there's like no good feeling for me. Um, so what I did do today after playing my normal pattern a few times, I changed it up and I've started being a little bit more, I guess the term is playful, um, but essentially I've started um, doing a lot more pushing into him and pushing into his space as the other supportive leadership so when he starts to push into me or when he starts to 
move towards me when he's wanting scratches or when he's thinking about scratches instead of walking around him at a medium distance which is normally kind of where i'm at which is more of like a yield mindset um or like a flight mindset i'm actually coming in and i'm doing a lot of like pushing and rocking of the skin a lot of touching um and then when he has a good moment about that not only am i then rewarding something or helping him to remember a good feeling associated with something that's more important to me because it's more aligned with my goals now to try and get some yields in there for him. Not only am I putting in good associations about me touching him, I'm also much closer to him so that when he has that moment of curiosity, I can start scratching before it's too late because when I'm far away, I can't do that. Like it's, I'm too far away. Um, so that did work well. Because before I was in this pattern where he would have the moment of curiosity, I would start moving in towards him. But then by the time I get there, he's thinking about the scratches again. And so it was just taking a really long time. I'm frustrated. I feel like the scratches are coming at the wrong moment. I feel like the timing's just not quite right. So this is working a lot better. Um, and it's been really good. It's been really interesting because I think it's a little bit stressful for him to be touched when he's not being scratched. And so I think it's interesting because like the law of the scratches is kind of holding him in there and allowing him to tolerate a longer time of me being at a touching distance than he might normally be able to tolerate and that's giving me a little bit more wiggle room to start to set up those associations so i think it was a really positive session it'll be interesting to come back tomorrow and see what the difference is for him um and it will also i think be really interesting to see how this kind of progresses but i feel hopeful about it because there was a lot of negative stuff coming up for me um with this and i yeah, and I really just want us to get to a place where we have a much healthier relationship with the scratching. So yeah, we'll see. Both horses, um, I felt like I left it in a really good place with both horses, which was really nice. Mia I brought up um, and did some more uh, walking and trotting into a better feeling, which was really nice. I missed a really great moment. Um, I think I didn't give her long enough to rest on a really big moment. Um, and then that kind of, she kind of pulled away from me a little bit mentally, I think, because she started some more processing to do and I was still asking her questions. So then I did her plats and I decided while I was doing her plats that after I'd done it, I would actually go back out again and ask again and try and get another good moment before I finished. And as I went out, literally the first time I stopped on that like little ear flick when we were walking together, she did all this licking and chewing and yawning and I was like, oh, perfect. So we left there on that together. She had some more licking and chewing while I was getting the halter and things, um, and yeah, it was really nice. So yeah, so a really good couple of days, actually. I feel like I'm like really on the up um, the last few days, which is so nice. Long may it continue. Um, looking forward to tomorrow for sure. Um, and yeah, who knows what it'll bring.